This film explains how to drive towards an end of authority, known as an EOA, when manually driving in ETCS Level 2. The driver must aim to stop the train 20 metres short of this end of authority at the signal, and the importance of driving to the movement authority displayed in the cab. When stationary at an EOA at a signal, the signal will change just prior to receiving a movement authority. The driver will then receive a movement authority on the driver machine interface, in this instance for 60 metres. Please note that the movement authority was only for 60 metres, which in this example will only allow movement up to the next block marker. Movement authorities can increase to allow further movement along the line. In ETCS terminology, this is called MA stepping up. So when the MA steps up to 100 metres, this will allow movement up to the following block marker. When the MA steps up to 140 metres, this allows movement up to the red signal. The signal will change just prior to receiving a movement authority. When the MA steps up to 210 metres, it allows movement up to the third block marker. Finally, when the MA steps up to 280 metres, this allows movement up to the red signal at the end of the platform. Just like conventional signalling and replacing a signal back to danger in an emergency, this can also be done with the European Train Control System. In ETCS terminology, this is called reducing a movement authority. The signals will change just prior to receiving a reduced movement authority. In this instance, the movement authority is cooperatively shortened from 280 metres to 140 metres. However, dependent on when this is done, this can cause an ETCS brake intervention or a trip. As the train moves down the platform towards an end of authority, the movement authority and distance to hazard scale reduce accordingly. The driver must aim to stop the train at the relevant stop board at a station, which may be within 20 metres of an end of authority. Warning. You must use the movement authority shown in the cab at all times, in conjunction with the distance to target bar. Using only traditional signals can lead you into an incident when in ETCS Level 2 operation, as passing a block marker board without a movement authority will cause a trip activation of the European train control system and apply the brakes, bringing the train to a stand. This will be displayed on the DMI when the full supervision mode icon will have changed to the trip mode icon. The brake activation icon will be displayed. A text message will be displayed in the text message pane and an audible alarm will sound in the cab due to intervention speed exceeded. As the train comes to a stand, the audible alarm will automatically stop and the trip mode transition acknowledgement icon will appear and flash. The driver must not acknowledge the trip mode transition acknowledgement icon. The driver must then contact the signaller via the GSMR. The reporting process for a trip is the same as if a SPAD had occurred on conventional signalling. The driver must also relay the message that is displayed in the text message pane on the DMI and then act on the signaller's instructions.